doing today? Welcome to Cooking with Connie and Sandra. Hi, Sandra. I'm so excited today. Oh, this is awesome, Connie. I can't wait to try these patties. So, what's the name of this dish? They're exciting and they're delicious. They're called zucchini patties burgers. That type of thing. You can make a sandwich with them or you can eat them with gravy. And my husband likes them and he doesn't like zucchini squash and he doesn't normally, he's very picky. So I feel like this is a really good recipe and I hope you're really going to enjoy it. We're run with zucchini about now and it's a great oh, way to use them. Which reminds me, I have the ones that you planted, right? <laughs> so these are from Connie's garden, right? Yes. This is, I guess this is a yellow zucchini. A friend of mine gave me some plants that were volunteers and that's a volunteer. Okay. And I'll show you the big one. Oh my goodness, this thing is huge. Hairy. <laughs> I think it's about five pounds. We did have an eight pounder. Now most people think, oh, it's too big to eat. But really they're great for the zucchini burgers because you shred up the skins or you can take them and haul out the seeds that are too big and stuff it with your favorite stuffing like breadcrumbs or meat and peppers and onions and mushrooms and things like that and top it with some vegan cheese and bake it and voila. It's really good. Another really fun thing that I found to do, especially if you're gluten free, is you can take um, the zucchini and I have a mandolin and some people are kind of scared of mandolins because you can cut your finger off. But it's a wonderful tool if you just learn how to use it. It's a good safety. It has a shield, which I never use unfortunately. But anyways, you can slice the zucchini thin and you can put a vegan hot dog in it with a little piece of cheese and roll it up. You have to steam them a little bit because the noodle will, I mean the noodle, the um, zucchini will want to break. But you roll it up and then bake it in the oven and they're awesome. I was making them for my, um, I had a teen class that I was teaching and the kids liked it as good or better than the, the ones that I made with the actual croissant dough. So give it a try. It's a great way. You can also make them slice them thin and use them in lasagna. So lots of ways you can do zucchini. But today we have some patties, Sandra. Yeah. So and you know a good thing about the patties is that you can freeze them and then you can enjoy them in the future. So even if you have a big one, you can still use it to the fullest. Yes. That is right. All right. So let's start cooking, Connie. What? How do okay, we start? Okay, Sandra. You want to put the zucchini in first? Sure. Let's put the zucchini in. And when you um, shred it, it gets a lot of moisture in it, so you really don't have to add any other liquid to this recipe. It just makes it really nice and soft. The next thing we're going to add is we have two cups of oatmeal. And you can use quick oats or you can use old fashioned. We're using old fashioned today. And um, Sandra, we can stir that up. And uh, then we can add some lemon, the onions. We shred those up too, and they have a lot of moisture in them too. So they also contribute to the moisture of the patty. So yeah, add the onion and see how much juice is coming off I that. Know. Sandra really loves onions. I mean, cooked are onions. <laughs> well, I just taught myself to like cooked ones, but I mean raw ones, but I still don't like the real regular onions. Raw. I can eat the Vidalia sweet ones raw and that's pretty nice, but the other ones are like, mm -mm, I'm not there yet. I can self talk a lot of things, but not onions. <laughs> Come on, Sandra. Although when you grill these, I'm yeah. going to be very happy to eat them. Yes, and you did, well, now when we made grilled vegetables, you didn't put onion in there, did you? Oh, I don't remember. <laughs> okay, we're going to add some breadcrumbs now, a cup of breadcrumbs. And you can buy dry breadcrumbs or you can just take some bread, whole grain bread, and grind it up and your food processor or your blender food processor work, processor works a little easier. All right. Okay, so now we have that. You see it's getting nice and moist already. We put the oatmeal in right away so it can start absorbing the moisture and uh, getting soft. Now we're going to add some cashews. Now, you don't want to put big pieces, at least I don't. I prefer them kind of ground up, but you can put them any size you like. We ran out of cashews today. We went to the store to buy some and they didn't have any either. So we mixed a little bit of walnuts with our mix today, and I'm sure you can use any nut that you like and it'll probably be just fine. So we're gonna sprinkle those in, and um, that's gonna give us a little texture, it gives us some protein, and um, helps with the flavors. Okay, now we're gonna be adding some nutritional yeast with, we're actually, we're using Parmesan today from the Vegetarian Express because 
We uh, didn't have any nutritional yeast. You can tell I'm great at substituting things for my recipe. That's great, you know. So they're flexible, you know. Okay, now we're going to sprinkle in a teaspoon of salt. And we say the best for last. Mm -hmm. The Vegetarian Express Veggie Chick Seasoning. Yep. This recipe calls for quite a bit, but you figure we have oatmeal that doesn't have any salt or any real flavors to it, and four and a half cups of shredded zucchini, which really is kind of flat flavored as well, so we can flavor it up really well. So we're going to add um, five and a, I think it's five tablespoons of Yes, it is five chick. tablespoons. The veggie chick is really good for soups, for rice, even for grilled vegetables. You can make broth with it. So it's a very versatile um, bouillon and it is delicious. It just brings the dry taste to the patties. Yes, and I love to make scrambled tofu with it too. Oh, scrambled tofu. I tell you what, Connie's recipe for scrambled tofu is the best I have ever tried. So, oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> I, I've never tasted anything better than that one. And when I make scrambled tofu, I make sure I use her recipe. So. My granddaughter just started making um, her own tofu egg salad. And she's just learning how to cook. And uh, it was a hit. So it makes a great um, egg salad as well. Of course, when our, with our egg salad, we add the, the veggie chips and we also add the Saucy Ranch and the Lemony Dill Zest to give our um, egg salad some amazing flavors. So, Okay, Sandra, I think they're looking nice and soft and ready to make into burgers. All right. That was pretty easy and quick, right? Okay, now I splurged. Well, it wasn't very expensive. You have to be a little careful because the top is a little bit fragile, but it's a burger press. And probably you've seen one of these before, maybe, but you can get them here and there in different stores. And uh, we're just going to put, I put a whole cup in, Sandra, Ooh. but it makes a really big burger. So maybe we'll try a little bit smaller. When you can see here, we have a finished product and it's like a big burger. So, so it makes a great sandwich. When somebody doesn't have a waffle maker to make them, so what, what else can they use to cook them? Well, you could put it in your oven and bake it. Or we have a griddle we're going to be using today. I used to have a waffle maker that had the flipping sides, but it gave up the ghost and died, so I don't have it anymore. Oh, the <laughs> other thing that I forgot to do, Sandra, it's not going to work, probably, is um, well, oh, maybe, oh, it's wet, it's coming out. I had trouble with it sticking in the bottom of my press. So I put parchment paper in the bottom for each one first, mm -hmm. and then I put it, then it came right out, and then I just was able to easily do it. So what's it? This right here, I'm going to pull a griddle over here. Oh, I'm, I thought you needed a dish. Oh, well, I'm just going to put it straight on the fire, I guess. Okay. And I forgot to turn on the griddle, and it's not hot. Oh. Well, that's yeah. all right. It'll get done. Yeah, it'll get done. So anyways, you can just... Put it on the griddle and like that, and it makes a nice big sandwich. Of course, you can mold them with your hands and uh, make a different size, any size you want. I like to use. Um, everybody has an ice cream scooper, right? Look. You can put and <laughs> they look great. They look really great. Let me put them closer to the camera. You can put them in a. Ice cream scooper and make a nice little, a smaller burger or a smaller patty. And you can serve it with creamy white gravy or rich brown gravy from the Vegetarian Express. And, uh, or you can do a, an amazing sandwich. Put some lettuce and tomato, onion, pickle, um, whatever you like on your sandwich. I'm going to make sure I take a bunch of these for my husband because I know he's going to. Yeah, he's not going to be wanting you to come away. Oh, you got, oh, yeah, you have to. I need to take food, food. yes. Yeah. You gotta ring food. I forgot to spray this, even though it's non-stick. Sometimes it gets a little sticky, so we'll give it a little. A little. This is kind of like a nice tool. I like it. Yeah, it's cool. I really like it. It makes it makes your patties look really sharp every time. But wow. I do think um, that one is not really put together. Yeah, flop it, say no. <laughs> put it back here, Connie. <laughs> Try it again. Look, if you put the parchment paper in, it solves the problem. Oh, what is it? Hmm. I um try to get something. Okay. But I will do that. So you can see you can make them different sizes and uh, we didn't serve it with a burger today, but I mean with a burger, listen to me. It is a burger. We didn't serve it with a, a bun. 
but you can make an awesome looking burger and it tastes great too. I actually made wraps with them the other day. I just stuck them inside of a tortilla wrap with some onion and mayonnaise and pickle and tomato, whatever you like for fixings. And um, it worked really great. So what do you do with that? Just put it in there? Oh, yeah. you're just trying to cut it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to cut it. Exactly. But this is nice, especially if you're going to freeze them anyway. You want to put parchment papers, rat wax papers, something between them where you know what's going to happen. They're going to stick they're together. They're going to stick together and you're going to be irritated. Yeah. Because they're not going to... You're going to have to follow the whole batch to get one off. And it's so nice to just get one if that's all you want. But they are great. You can grill them up or fry them up like this and um, and put them away in the freezer. Or I just froze them like after I made formed them. I just put the paper between them and stacked them up and put them in a Ziploc baggie and stuck them in the freezer. That's so, very nice. See how easy that is then? Oh wow, that's pretty. That's awesome. You can use the same paper over and over, I guess, probably. Yeah. Well, friends, thank you so much for watching. And um, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And if you're interested in the recipe, let us know in the comments, and we'll just um, post it right yeah. there. We have it in our recipe book you can buy online. And, of course, don't forget to check out the Veggie Chicks season. All right. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.